Welcome to IAS project. In this video, let's talk about some of the important cities of Indus civilization. Now let's talk about Harappa, which is actually located in Punjab province of Pakistan. Let's see the location of Harappa first. You can see Harappa over here. It is located on the banks of river Ravi. So this is basically river Ravi. If we talk about Indus civilization sites in Pakistan, then Mohenjo-daro, Ganveriwala and Harappa are the three biggest sites in Pakistan. Now let's talk more about Harappa. So Harappa is located in Pakistan on the banks of river Ravi. Harappa was actually the first site of Indus civilization that was discovered. That is why the name of Indus civilization became Harappan civilization. Because Harappa was the first site that was discovered. Harappa was discovered in 1870s and the person to discover this was Sir Alexander Cunningham. Sir Alexander Cunningham was actually the first Director General of Archaeological Survey of India. And he became the Director General in, I think, 1861. Very important from the point of view of modern history syllabus. However, at this point, he did not know that it was some kind of new civilization. So during this time, Sir Alexander Cunningham found unicorn seal from Harappa. But he did not know that this was almost 4000 years old. So that is why the scientific excavation of Harappa was only done in 1921 by Dayaram Sani. So if you want to remember any names, you have to remember these two names. That is Dayaram Sani in 1921 scientifically excavated Harappa and Sir Alexander Cunningham in 1870s first discovered Harappa. If we talk about some of the important observations that we have made in Harappa, then we have found two rows of six granaries. We have also found wooden coffin burials and post cremation burials were also being done in Harappa. So related to burials, these two practices were being performed in Harappa. Moreover, the symmetry edge culture of late Harappan phase was also first discovered in Harappa only. In Harappa, we have also found single room barracks. And during mature Harappan phase, Harappa traded with Mesopotamia, Afghanistan and Iran that is why we have also found evidences of trade with Mesopotamia in Harappa. Now let's talk about Mohenjo-daro. Mohenjo-daro is located in Sindh province of Pakistan. Let's look at the location of Mohenjo-daro on the map. Mohenjo-daro is basically located over here. So this is located on the banks of river Indus. This is nothing but river Indus. And this basically falls in the region of Sindh province in Pakistan. The meaning of the word Mohenjo-daro is the mound of the dead. This is only a fact to remember, nothing to analyze here. So Mohenjo-daro is located in Pakistan on the banks of river Indus. Harappa was the first site to be discovered in Indus civilization and Mohenjo-daro was the second site to be discovered in Indus civilization. It was excavated in 1922 by R.D. Banerjee and afterwards John Marshall and his team also excavated in 1930. John Marshall was also the Director General of Archaeological Survey of India. Some of the important observations that we made at Mohenjo-daro are, we have found the Great Bath of Mohenjo-daro. Moreover, we have also found bronze dancing girl statue and steatite bearded priest sculpture. We have also found remains of a woven cotton cloth on a silver vase and some other copper items in Mohenjo-daro. So this is basically a proof that Harappan people were wearing cotton clothes. We have also found a large granary or a large warehouse from Mohenjo-daro. We have talked about Great Bath of Mohenjo-daro in our previous video. You can see some of the salient points here. Its size was almost close to a badminton court size. And its use was mainly for taking ritualistic baths on special occasions. This shows that water purification ritual was important in Harappan civilization. This great bath was actually lined with bricks and it was then coated with plaster and made watertight with a layer of bitumen. So we can appreciate the engineering marvel and engineering skills of Harappan people here. The next site is Chanhudaro. Chanhudaro is also located in Sindh province of Pakistan. Let's look at the location of Chanhudaro on the map. Chanhudaro is basically located over here. So Chanhudaro is also located very close to Indus River. Chanhudaro was a relatively small settlement if we compare the size of Chanhudaro with let's say Harappa, Ganveriwala or Mohenjo-daro. 
मोहिंजदारो हरप्पा एंड गनवेरी वाला वर ऑलमोस्ट ग्रेटर देन हंड्रेड हेक्टर्स बट चानू दरो वॉज अ वेरी स्मॉल सेटलमेंट विच वॉज अराउंड सेवन हेक्टर्स ओनली मोर ओवर चानू दरो वॉज द ओनली हरप्पन सेटलमेंट विच डिड नॉट हैव अ सिटेडल वेरी वेरी यूनिक पॉइंट दैट इज वाई इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ एग्जाम ऑल हरप्पन सिटीज हैड अ सिटेडल हवे वर चानू दरो डिड नॉट हैव अ सिटेडल सम ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट ऑब्जर्वेशन दैट वी मेड इट चानू दरो आर चानू दरो हैड ऑल थ्री फेजेस ऑफ हरप्पन सिविलाइजेशन चानू दरो was famous for crafts production for example bead making shell making metal works seal making and weight making were some of the important activities that were done in chanhu daro you can see some of the pictures of beads here and these beads were generally disc shaped spherical shaped or cylindrical shaped also moreover using steatite stone they also made micro beads micro beads simply means that small sized beads Harappan people made seals, weight stones, as well as beads using steatite stone. Another unique evidence which we have found from Chanhu Daro was evidence of human sacrifice. So please remember this fact also because it is very unique to Chanhu Daro. Some of the other sites in Sindh province of Pakistan are Kot Diji and Amri. Let's look at Kot Diji and Amri on the map. You can see Amri over here. and kot diji is over here so amri is located to chanhu daro whereas kot diji is located close to mohenjo daro kot diji is an important pre harappan culture site and some of the observations we made here are we have found stone houses in kot diji if we talk about amri amri was also a pre harappan site because in amri we had a pre harappan culture which was called as amri nal culture moreover amri also has a transition culture which was basically a transition between pre harappan culture and post harappan culture moreover from amri we have also found actual remains of rhinoceros again this is also a very unique feature now let's discuss some other important sites in india if we talk about haryana then we have two very important sites in haryana they are nothing but banawali and rakhi gadi let's look at the locations of these places on the map banawali is located over here whereas rakhi gadi is located a little bit southeast of banawali some of the other important sites in haryana like bhirana as well as kunal village are also located close to banawali so banawali is located on the banks of river rangoi in banawali we found all three phases of harappan culture moreover from banawali we have also found a clay model of a plow this is a unique feature so please try to remember this If we talk about Rakhi Gadi, Rakhi Gadi is the largest Harappan city that we know so far, and Rakhi Gadi is also located close to Bhirana. In fact, Rakhi Gadi is larger than Harappa, Mohenjo-daro, Ganwariwala, and Dholavira also. If you talk about the five largest sites in Indus civilization, then it would be like this: Rakhi Gadi is the largest site. Then we have Mohenjo-daro, Harappa, and Ganwariwala, and also Dholavira. so these are basically the five largest indus civilization sites and rakhi gadi is the largest among all these sites now let's talk about kalibangan which is located in rajasthan let's look at the location of kalibangan on the map this is the location of kalibangan it is located in rajasthan and it is very close to india pakistan border all these locations are actually located very close to the gagar hakra river system or i can say gaggar saraswati river system so the name kalibangan actually means black bangles kalibangan is located close to gaggar saraswati river system today this river system has dried up but during those days these rivers were very very prominent that is why a culture developed around these rivers some of the important observations that we made from kalibangan are we have found a plowed field you can see picture of plowed field over here Moreover we have also found fire altars from Kalibangan whenever you talk about fire altars in Indus civilization then two cities have to come to your mind the first is Lothal and the second is Kalibangan you can see a picture of fire altar here fire altar is nothing but yagnakund moreover in Kalibangan we have also found camel bones it is believed that camels were actually imported by harappans from afghanistan so camel bones are again a unique feature in kalibangan you have to remember this 
Although Kalibangan was a city, it was basically a poorly planned city if we compare it to Harappa or Mohenjadaro. Some of the elements like grid-like streets and proper drainage system were missing from Kalibangan. That is why Kalibangan was a poorly planned city compared to Harappa and Mohenjadaro. In Kalibangan, we have found burials both in circular as well as rectangular graves. So circular graves is a unique feature here. We have also found decorative brick floors from Kalibangan. This is also a unique feature. Now let's talk about Alamgirpur which is in Uttar Pradesh. Let's look at the location of Alamgirpur on a map. Alamgirpur is not given here but let me show you the location. Alamgirpur is somewhere over here. River Yamuna goes like this. So Alamgirpur is slightly towards eastern direction of river Yamuna. Alamgirpur is actually located very close to Meerut which is in Uttar Pradesh. Moreover, Alamgirpur is located east of river Yamuna. In fact, Alamgirpur is actually the easternmost Harappan civilization site that we know so far. It was discovered by Vaidhi Sharma in 1958. Again, the name is not important. Here we have found evidence of impression of cloth on a trough. Trough is basically a ceramic bowl kind of thing, okay? Moreover, Alamgirpur belongs to late Harappan phase culture, which is nothing but a PGW phase culture. Particularly if you want to know, then Alamgirpur belongs to Ganga Yamuna Doab zone of late Harappan culture. And the last important site in this video is Ropad, which is located in Punjab. Ropad is also called as Rupnagar. I think the name was changed somewhere around 1970s. But you can still write it as Ropad, no problem. Let's look at the location of Ropad on a map. Ropad is located over here. This river is basically the Sutlej river. So Ropad is located close to Sutlej river. So Ropad is located in the state of Punjab near to river Sutlej. Ropad was also excavated by Vaidhi Sharma in year 1955. We have found mud and stone buildings from Ropad. Moreover, the unique feature that we have found in Ropad was a dog was buried along with a human being. So please try to remember this. These type of questions are asked in prelims exam as well as in mock tests also. So this is about some of the important Indus Valley civilization sites. This almost completes our syllabus. Only a very small section is remaining. That is nothing but a brief comparison between Indus civilization, ancient Egyptian civilization and ancient Mesopotamian civilization. We will do that comparison in our next video and then we will start Chalcolithic age in India. If you like this video, please subscribe. You can download this presentation from our telegram channel IAS project. The link for this channel is given in the description below. Thank you.